In this recording, I want to go over the vocabulary for Mounts chapter 28. And if you're following along in the book, you can find the vocabulary here on page 265. Our first word uh, that we see is atspadzomai, which means I greet or I salute. And uh, you pretty much, uh, maybe about 90% of the usage of this word is going to be at the end of Paul's letters. And so where he gives these long lists of, pe- uh, of na- people that he wants to greet uh, from the various various uh, locations. Location so a spadzomai, which means I greet or I salute. Grammatus grammateos ha, which means scribe, and uh, that that shouldn't look too strange to you. We have our word here gramma, which starts to sound like grammar, and uh, that would be what a scribe is interested in is grammar. Efe. Uh, is a particular verb uh, which comes from the verb fe me, and uh, this is actually the third person uh, singular form, which means he, she, or it was saying, or he, she, or it said. Uh, the fourth word on our list is heron, heru, ta, which means temple, and heron refers to the entire temple mound. We're going to learn, uh, or there's another word, uh, which means temple, na'an, which uh, refers to probably like the Holy of Holies, uh, the sanctuary uh, portion. So the heron is a generic word for temple, but uh, in New Testament literature and Jewish literature, it generally refers to the entire temple mound, uh, the temple structure. Next we have kradzo, which means I cry out or I call out. Uki, which means not. And so, again, no big surprise there. You know u and you know uk. And so uksi um, is pretty close to that. Uh, the third l- word on this list is uh, paidion, paidiu. Ta, which means child or infant. The way I memorize this word is I'm a big Star Wars, Star Wars fan, and uh, this is pretty close to uh, uh, Padawan. Uh, this is uh, Pai Dian, uh, but it's pretty close to the Star Wars Padawan, which is a, a learner. Uh, this means a child or an infant. So uh, Pai Dian is probably something smaller than a technon. A technon, which is a child, is probably, you know, somewhere, um, you know, between toddler to um, uh, adolescent, whereas pation is probably going to be more more of an infant. The last word on our list is spiro, which means I sew. And so uh, hopefully you can start to see some of the uh, derivation with the word. Um, seed in Greek means sperma. And so this is the verbal form, uh, spyro, which means I sew. That's it for chapter 28. Um, So far, you guys have learned uh, 78% uh, of the New Testament words, 78% of the words that occur in the New Testament. So you could pick up your New Testament and recognize almost 8 out of 10 words uh, in the New Testament. And so just a little bit further to go. Um, keep pushing. I think Mounts is ultimately going to get us up to above 80. Uh, So you just have a few more words to learn. Um, So as the frequency is dropping off, I'm going to give you my exhortation on vocabulary. As the frequency or as as the amount of words that we're learning per chapter starting to, to fall off, make sure that you shift your time to reviewing old words. And so ultimately, when we get to the end of Mounts, we're not going to learn any more new words, but you still need to do your vocab work. You still have to review. Go back back and, and, and look over those words that, that you learned in NT101. Don't let those slip on you. That's it. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.